Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to manually edit portraits using Evoto AI. First, let's start with the real-time color adjustments by clicking this icon right here. As you can see, there are a bunch of sections here such as histogram, filters, white balance, tone, curves, HSL, detail, and color calibration. I will not be discussing this in detail as this is self-explanatory and colors are very subjective. Instead, let me go through some of the color filters right here and find out which one works with my current mood. Let's try Landscape 1. How about Vivid 9? Vivid 10 looks interesting. Let me just try a few more filters here. Okay, for this image, I like Vivid 10 the most. Let's decrease the amount to about 50. Okay, that looks good. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Okay, that looks great. Let's move on to the face and skin retouching section. Let's max out the freckle and acne removal to 100. Okay, that looks good to me. Let me turn on the face mole removal. As you can see, it automatically removed the mole right here. Let's also set the body blemish removal all the way to 100. Okay, not bad. Now let's zoom in and move the eye wrinkles reducing slider to about 44. Next, let's adjust the dark circles reducing to 46. And then the smile folds reducing to 45. Let's skip the neck wrinkles reducing and double chin removal as it doesn't apply to this image. Now let's move on to the skin retouching section. Let's crank up the magic face skin slider all the way to 100. Before, after. I think it's too much. So let's dial it down to about 48. Okay, now that looks more natural. Let's also max out the skin smoothing slider. Again, it looks way too smooth, so let's bring it down to about 43. Okay, that looks better. Let's set the body skin smoothing to 43 as well. Then we zoom out to see the entire image. Let's see what this ruddy complexion slider does. Looks like it tries to enhance the redness of the skin. We don't need that for this image. Let's check out the skin tone unifying. 100 is too much, so let's dial it down to about 48. Okay, now our image is really getting better. Let's skip the face reshaping and teeth section, as it doesn't affect this image. So now let's move on to the eye section and adjust the brightness slider to about 14. Let's skip the makeup and body reshaping section as well. So we're almost done editing this image. Let's have a preview of what we've done so far. Okay, I'm happy with my edit. But I want to know your thoughts so comment down below if you like it or not. Now let's go to the background adjustment section. Let's turn on the clean solid backdrop function. Okay, not bad. Now let's turn on the color banding removal.
and then set the background enhancement to 50. Alright, I'm not liking the background adjustments, so let's turn off the color banding removal and clean backdrop function. Okay, just out of curiosity, let's check out the headshot backdrop changer. Let's use this blue gradient right here. Hmm, looks like this function has not been perfected yet. I will not be using this function anytime soon. Let's revert back to the original backdrop, turn on the clean solid backdrop again, and set it to 73. Let's do some final checks just to make sure everything looks perfect. And we're done editing this image. Let's go ahead and export this. And this is how to manually edit portraits in Evoto AI. Please note that this is my own approach on using the software. Your workflow might be different, so it's best to experiment and try it yourself until you find out what's most efficient for you. Evoto is really a powerful tool, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. This takes a lot of time and practice. Back in the day, it takes literally hours to edit a single image. But now, with the help of artificial intelligence, you can edit images in a matter of minutes. I will put the link in the video description if you want to try this software. I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.